So what is the process by which resource manager components are set up and resource consumer groups are utilized? First of all, you create plans which contain basically CPU utilization levels and all the other bits and pieces we went through. Then you create the groups, you assign the users to groups, and you obviously assign the plans to groups. Here I have some scripts which I created a number of years ago for a project I was working on. And essentially, you don't have to remember all the nitty-gritty details of this, but really what I'm doing is I'm clearing stuff out. I'm creating a consumer group called OLTP, I'm submitting to a pending area, and then I'm granting a switch consumer group to these two users and setting the initial consumer group. In other words, what's happening is I'm creating a consumer group, I'm allocating these two users, and I'm saying that these two users start off in this particular consumer group. Obviously, I can create a DBA consumer group, which again, there's the group, and these types of users are all allocated to the DBA user group, and they start off in that user group, namely DBSNMP, which is the Oracle agent, Oracle Enterprise Manager repository, stored outlines, system manager for Oracle Enterprise Outline, and the trace server. And obviously, I need to go and create plans. So I do my initial setup, and I've got an OLTP daytime resource plan, which essentially says the plan is called OLTP, the group is this group, and I'm setting different levels of CPU usage for that group up to eight, and parallel degree limit. I'm not setting other variables, such as undo limits and that sort of thing. I'm keeping it simple, if that could be simple. All this is saying is that level one, it gets 80%, level two, it gets 40 level 3 gets 20, etc, 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 and the different groups and different users apply differently, obviously. Then I've got a backup plan, which runs at night, which is allocated to the DBA, sysgroup, OLTP, etc, etc. You don't need to go into the nitty-gritty detail of this. All you need to understand is that you create groups, you create plans, and plan directives allocate those plans to groups. If I want to drop resource plans, I have to do it in the correct order. Obviously, I have to drop the plan directives, then the plans, and then the consumer groups. If I try to drop a consumer group that has plans or plan directives in it, it obviously won't let me. But this script is simply to clear down everything I created in the other one and start all over again. It's pretty easy. Once the script is written, you just execute the scripts from within SQL+.